Robert Monroe Monarch, author of the book Human in the Loop Machine Learning with Manning Publications. We often hear about machine learning, but rarely human in the loop machine learning. Is it a new concept? And what is non-human in the loop machine learning? So the, the concept of human in the loop machine learning is pretty much as old as machine learning itself. Uh, so it recognizes that behind almost any machine learning algorithm that you're using, uh, there are humans helping guide that algorithm. Uh, so in the early days of machine learning, that was humans writing rules um, for, for rule-based machine learning. Uh, today, it's humans annotating data, labeling data. So uh, one of the reasons a self-driving car can navigate down the road by itself is because humans have spent thousands of hours labeling videos saying this is a pedestrian, this is a street sign, this is the edge of the road. Uh, the reason your smart device can understand your voice is because it's been trained on, again, thousands of hours of humans saying similar commands um, and someone manually mapping what they've said um, verbally uh, to the, the specific intent uh, that, that they were trying to encode. Um, so even though we, we like to think of machine learning as a, a very automated process, um, in fact, there's a, a really large and, and for me really fascinating side of it, uh, which is uh, humans uh, guiding those um, machine learning algorithms. And so I, I guess to, to answer the second part of the question, um, what isn't human in the loop machine learning? Um, yeah, so there are, there are kinds of machine learning that don't necessarily uh, require human interaction. Um, and, and they're in a minority. I'd say that 90% of machine learning out there does require human input. Uh, but some of the examples of ones that don't necessarily require human input are uh, some kinds of unsupervised learning. So if you're just looking for clusters information or maybe trends over time, um, that's not something that requires training data. It's not something that necessarily requires human feedback. Uh, and uh, some of the algorithms that you might see in games as well. Uh, so uh, some of the, the more recent advances in games like chess and Go or on the back of reinforcement learning, where the algorithm's not learning from human feedback, it's learning from interacting with the, the rules of the game uh, with, with the environment itself. Uh, but certainly, yeah, they're, they're in the minority. Uh, most machine learning uh, does have a, a very strong and important human component to it. 